Okay. Yeah. We are rolling. <laughs> okay, so we are here today with our last match report with 30k who've just sent Ammonite home. Oh my god, guys. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Uh, pretty good series. Pretty hype. My throat is definitely a little sore after screaming out of my mouth. Screaming at this guy a lot, too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good, though, for sure. How was it getting screamed at by Cure? Oh, I'm used to it. You know, all I get is just hate, and I'm just kidding. You know, sometimes you ant, and you know, you need a little reminder not to ant, and it helps. And that's what I ant a lot. You ant a lot. I oh wow! What was the roughest hero for you to play in this series? Um, all of them. I, I mean, I think like I was just limit testing a lot, I guess, like mechanically, because Koreans especially, I think the way they play is like a mechanical test of like at least that's how I felt like playing like Tracer against I think the Tracer Genji matchup yeah was like pretty insane. like we just kept one v one all game and it's like if you don't man up and like fight like because I feel like that was yesterday how it felt where we kind of just rolled over I think game two against uh, Bang Bush where it's like that's kind of the NA meta of like scale and let your opponents lose instead of winning yourself so I think that was our biggest thing today to adjust was just like we're playing to win instead of playing not to lose so just like taking that mechanical test and like of course you int sometimes but at the same time it's like a very fine line between inting and like making a good play so just have to keep towing that line and trying uh, to get better. Absolutely. I really I really love to see that you were playing so reactive and you were taking those trades with the Genji and honestly looked like you had the upper hand in most of them. Really disciplined how it turned out every time. Now I wanted to know because you were saying like, oh yeah, I got I got called out for inting, but you were playing Junkrat at at, at some point and how, how does that how do you int on Junkrat? Alright, so the biggest one was the tomb game. Uh <laughs> All right, Kira's playing Genji, and he wants me to clear bot lane. That's fair. I'm Chromie. I clear the bot lane. And he's screaming, clear bot lane, clear bot lane. And the whole time, I think he's saying, clearing bot lane. So I think he's, like, clearing bot lane. And then after the fifth time, he says, clear bot lane. He's like, Mono, what the hell are you doing? So I uh, made my way down there and finally cleared that bot lane. Yeah, this guy is just, uh, he's just screaming, I can loop your I can loop. And, like, none of us, like, two people are tapping. One guy's back. I mean, it's good to be aggressive, though. So, yeah. It's had to, sometimes we got to definitely, like, land. Lynn uh, hype, you know, like we're screaming and like the energy is definitely really uh, hype. Sometimes he's tunnel vision, but well played though, well played. Good stuff, good stuff, yeah. Yeah, I mean the energy is still high here now as well. You guys are of course like riding the hype of the win. Um, when when was there ever like a shakier moment for you guys that you guys were like really thinking like, oh, this is not looking good. How do we come back from this? Probably, uh, after game one, I think, where it felt like we were winning the early game and just going down 0-1 and it's being like, anytime you go down 0-1, it feels bad, right? Momentum can, in a series, BO5, momentum can always shift. So I think just like resetting after that was really crucial and just playing our game and talking about what went wrong. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, I think it really helped out. You guys did your own thing, right? And you started like really target banning the Diablo. And I'm just curious, do you do you do the drafting cure? Okay, but how how does it work with the input of the rest of the team? Then do you do you get to like get some input here, or is he really like the boss? <laughs> yeah, well, normally he does a lot of the prep work. He puts a lot of time into you know theorying draft, what's good, what counters what. So normally you have like a really strong start, first couple picks, and then as we go on, you know, more niche picks like Liam's URL or the Chromie will come out. And and Kier's a lot, he's really used to it now. Like we've been playing together for a long time. So he normally knows what we're gonna suggest and what we're feeling. But yeah, normally like he'll he'll give us a good a good plan and then we'll fill in the holes. Awesome. Good synergy. I mean, that definitely showed now as well. You uh, send a very powerful team home. How is it like overall for you guys to be here at this LAN? How did you guys feel when Heroes International got announced? What were like your honest like first feelings um, after we've had a bit of a shakier road to, to get here where we are now today? Um, so definitely with CCLN being canceled, that was a pretty big bummer. And so just thinking about where we go from there, I think uh, them announcing Heroes International was really good for us to like stay together as a team, 
and play one kind of one final tournament. And I mean, we know Kev. We we both played in the last Miami Land, so we knew it was gonna be legit. I'm just really hyped to play against Korea because I think last time I played against Korea was like 2017. Yeah, like, it must have been like. Eight. Yeah, or 2018. Yeah, so it's like just cool to see everybody, the whole Haas community, just kind of have a nice get together and some nice. I mean, Land is always like you know you've been to a few lands yourself. The Land energy is always like really cool. So definitely a cool experience. Glad we can play all three days as well and, and not go home today. That, that was really big for us. So, and hopefully we can uh, put up a good fight tomorrow and maybe win it all. All right. So, Madara, you're looking forward to tomorrow. And who is going to be really like a team that you're a bit scared of? And who's like a player you've got your eyes on? Like, okay, we gotta we gotta be careful for this guy. Uh, well, we will end up playing both teams tomorrow, no matter what, if we win the first one. So, I mean, I'm kind of scared of both of them. Neither of them have dropped a map yet. If I'm looking at one player in particular, it's probably Ultralis. I mean, every game they've played, you can see he's getting target banned. He won MVP at the last land for a reason. Uh, he's an absolute god gamer, so watching out for him. That's a strong answer. All right. Um, do you guys have any shout-outs you want to make? Yeah, uh, I mean, big shout-out to the team. It's been amazing with you guys. Huge shout-out to 30K, the staff, Michael, just everyone. Uh, huge shout-out to everyone here watching. Uh, shout-out to the boys. And then lastly, huge shout-out to my girlfriend, Megan. I love you. Oh, that's so cool. Jerry, do you got anything to add to that? I think you covered it all. Uh, yeah, shout out to everybody, Hus community. All my, oh, I guess my stream viewers. Shout out to the stream viewers, yeah. Shout out to the fans. All right. Thank you guys so much for your time. You uh, definitely deserve some rest. Buckle up for tomorrow. And you too, Twitch chat. Buckle up for tomorrow because we're back at 11 a.m. Miami time. So be there.